Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Manny Tonelli here. Today we're talking about why you never call an umpire blue in professional baseball. And you never call your coach or manager coach. You just don't do it, okay? Um, before we do that, check this out. So San Diego Studios sent me a really cool sweatshirt here. The show, obviously I got my hat. And this shirt, I can't really turn around the way I'm see seated right now. But it's got my gamer tag on the back. It is pretty legit and it's super, super comfortable. I might just keep this on uh, until I'm allowed to go back outside again. So anyways, okay, let's talk about blue and coach, okay? Let's start off with, uh, with calling coach, coach. Now listen, at almost every other level of play, players are really used to calling coach coach, right? Um, put in the comment section below, what do you call your coach if you're a youth player? Do you call them by their first name? Do you call them just coach? Do you call them coach Mike? Do you call them coach Antonelli? What do you do? I always think it's funny. Um, I pay attention to what players call me. I don't make our players call me coach. Now, some, I've actually had some parents be like, why don't you make the players call you coach? Like some of them call you by your first name. I don't know if it's because I played professional baseball for so long. Um, and we're going to get into why you don't call coach coach in professional baseball. Uh, but I just call, you know, some people do call me coach Matt or coach Antonelli. Some people just call me Matt. Uh, I really don't care. Usually when someone says Coach Antonelli, I usually say yes player Smith or whatever their last name is um, because it still just sounds weird to me to hear Coach Antonelli or Coach Matt. Um, but put in the comment section below, what do you call your coach? Okay, that's the first thing. Now, for my whole career as a player, I called my coach, coach also. I called him coach, well, in Little League, I guess I called him dad because he was my dad. But then when I finally moved up and my dad wasn't my coach anymore, I called him coach. In high school, I called our high school coach, coach. In college, I called him coach. Um, actually, in college, if you didn't call the coach, coach, uh, you were going to get yelled at. I remember actually one time with our coach, someone he heard someone call him by his nickname and he was not very happy about that. Uh, so you're you're kind of programmed to do this your whole life, and then you get the pro ball. And if you call your coach coach in pro ball, you're going to get yelled at, okay? Because I've seen it happen a bunch of times. You don't call them coach. If you're going to talk to a, uh, well, in pro ball, they're not even called coaches anymore. The head coach, he's called a manager, okay? But you don't call him manager either, okay? So what do you call him? Well, you call him by his, usually you call him by his first name or his nickname if he has one, um, or you call him Skip, okay? That's Usually, you know, I always called my coaches, well, I called them by their first name. Uh, I don't think I ever personally called any of my managers Skip, but plenty of people are, will say, hey, Skip, hey, Skip, you know, you hear that, like, hey, Skip. Uh, but I just called them by their first name. And that's what you're expected to do. You don't call them coach. If you do, you're going to get yelled at, okay? Uh, even the assistant coaches who are actually coaches, I don't, you don't call any of them coach either. So I call them Billy or Bobby or Smitty or whatever. Again, some have nicknames and some, well, they all have first names. Uh, so you call them by their first name and unless they have a nickname, then you call them that, okay? So that's, that's how it works in pro ball, all right? Never, ever call them coach. If you guys play pro ball, don't do it. You're going to get yelled at or made fun of. All right. Now, umpires. Put in the comment section below what you call umpires, okay? So usually, I would say at levels not professionally, most players call umpires either blue or they call them ump, okay? You hear that a lot. I hear that a lot in our, our travel ball games, if you want to call them that, our anti-baseball games. You'll hear a lot of blues and umps. Um, again, one thing that I've learned from playing pro ball is that you don't do that in pro ball, and so now... That just got stuck in my head. And so when I'm coaching games now, I never call an umpire blue or ump. I learn their first name and I just call them Jim or Tom or whatever their first name is. And this is really big in professional baseball. You never ever, if you call an umpire blue or ump, they're probably going to yell at you or they're going to say something to you that makes you feel like an idiot. Uh, why is this? I don't know. I guess because they're now big time. They're in pro ball. So you don't call them blue or ump. They got a name. So you call them their name. 
And so that's what I always did. So now when I coach now, I don't, I figure out their names and I call them Jim or Mike or Tony or whatever. Now, when you're in professional baseball, for all the, for most of the teams that I played with, on the lineup card, so there's going to be a lineup card that's posted in the dugout. And then at the top, usually, almost always, the umpire's names are written out. So it's going to be who's, you know, humble behind the plate, who's at first and second and third or whatever. Um, and they have their first names up there. That way you have an idea. I also think it's mostly for the manager so he can remember if he's like, damn, what's this guy's name again? Uh, Billy, where the hell was that pitch? So I think it's mostly for them. But I was always, I would always go over. I'm really bad with names, and so I would always go over and look at it and just be like, okay, if I have to ask someone a question or if I want to talk to someone, I know their names. Because this is one other interesting thing in pro ball. I was always amazed at how the umpires knew your name. They knew everybody's name. This was in the minor leagues and in the major leagues. So when I'm playing second base or I'm hitting or whatever, a lot of times, you know, when I would hit, I'd always walk to the plate and I always say hello to the catcher and the umpire. And the umpire would always be like, you know, usually would be like, hey, Matt, what's going on? Now, I know that they just announced my name, so I could get that. But a lot of times I'd be in the field, I'd be running the bases and... The umpires would almost always be like, hey, Matt, what's going on today? Hey, Matt, like they always knew your name. And I was like, do these guys like study the names? How the hell do they know all the first names so well? And like on the scoreboard and stuff, yeah, they see the last names up there. And I could get it if you're Manny Ramirez or Pedro Martinez or something. Yeah, they're going to know your name. But like I was a, a, a bum. I only played for a little bit in the major leagues. And when I was in the major leagues, they always would say, hey, Matt, what's going on, buddy? How are you doing today? Especially, again, as a middle infielder, or I guess any position, but as a middle infielder, I've got an umpire. You know, The second base ump is going to be right around me. And so you know, a lot of times you just have conversations with the umpires during the games. But it was, it was pretty cool that they always know your name. So they know your name. You have to know their name. Don't ever call them blue or ump. That's like putting them down, basically being like, you're a nobody, okay? And... Um, you just don't do that. All right, so that's all we have. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to put down there what you call your coach and what you call umpires. I want to read and see what you guys have to say about that. And that's all we have. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon that support the channel. We really, really appreciate that. And that's all we have. We'll talk to you later.